Decoding English, the magic of relative pronouns and context. Hello language learners. Today, we are going to demystify relative pronouns in English. They may seem complex, but with practice, you'll understand their importance in giving depth and richness to your sentences. Let's jump in. Before we look at examples, let's briefly remind ourselves what relative pronouns are. Relative pronouns are words like who, which, that, whom, and where. They introduce relative clauses, which are parts of sentences that give additional information about something without starting a new sentence. Let's first look at relative pronouns in restrictive clauses. Restrictive clauses are essential to the meaning of a sentence. If you remove them, the sentence often doesn't make sense. For example, take the sentence. The book that I read last week was very interesting. Here, that is our relative pronoun, and it introduces the restrictive clause that I read last week. This clause is essential because it specifies which book we're talking about. Now let's move on to relative pronouns in non-restrictive clauses. These clauses add extra information to a sentence, but even if you remove them, the sentence still makes sense. For example, my sister, who lives in Paris, is a chef. Who is the relative pronoun and introduces the non-restrictive clause, who lives in Paris. This clause isn't essential to the sentence's primary meaning. It's additional information. Let's see what happens when we swap a restrictive clause with a non-restrictive one, and vice versa. My brother, who you met at the party, is an artist. In this case, the clause, who you met at the party, is non-restrictive. But if we remove the commas, my brother who you met at the party is an artist. It becomes restrictive and implies that you have more than one brother, and we're specifying which one. These examples should give you a good sense of how relative pronouns work in context, within restrictive and non-restrictive clauses. That's it for today. Remember, learning to use relative pronouns correctly can really level up your English skills, providing more context and clarity in your sentences. Practice, 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 and soon you'll be using relative pronouns like a pro. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you in the next video.